I'm using a smaller roller, quite a bit smaller. Um, I prefer smaller rollers. Um, I've used this one because it's just easier to put the ink on. I've always used a roller a little bit smaller. I think, I, I don't know the size, it's the next size down, but if you order it from me, this is 102 millimeters. I think this is about 75, this smaller one. And I used to get these before they ran out. This is the um, De La Rowney block printing water soluble ink. Um, this is really the new version of that um, here. There's also one called Speedball you can get, but you need water soluble, otherwise it will be on your hands for days. You really do want to be able to wash it off, okay? Uh, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm not going to open that one up. I'll send these off to anybody that wants that, and I'll just use, use here. Now, what you notice, I've, you can use normal photocopying paper, but some people have a um, habit of... I don't know, just being a little bit rougher or the hands are a little bit um, uh, stronger. So I've used actually a hundred gram, just slightly thicker. If you've got art paper, wonderful, but you can still use uh, the, um, uh, the photocopying paper without any problem. I've also got a kitchen towel and I've just doubled it here. Um, something that's a little bit springy, nothing, to, you don't want a, like a bath towel, that's too, that's too thick. But a little towel here will just give a bit of a spring here when you need it. So famous last words. We'll see how this goes, OK? <laughs> All right, so let's take the hand. And what we do, oh, now that's one thing I've forgotten. OK. You need, now some people use a, uh, what do they use? Some people use a, um, like a tin. I used to use a piece of art board. You can use something like this something thick or a tin or an art board and I used to rinse it off but I, I forgot about that so I haven't got that so you put a little bit of ink um I don't think we, what have we got tin foil. foil no not tin foil no but actually a, a tin that people use I think Johnny uses a tin so what you're going to do is just put a little bit like that on there and remember, we don't want to over ink everything. We can always add more ink. When you over ink it, you then have to wash the hand, etc. And the one thing you want to do as well is not have any cream on the hands. I once had a client arrive and was about to do her palm prints. She went to the bathroom, of course, which, <laughs> which is important that she did to feel comfortable. She came back with a load of um, cream on her hand, a load of uh, moisturizer, and it just ruins the print. So you want the hand to be at least a good five minutes without washing it, just so the natural oils come back on the hand. Okay, so anything that's just been cleaned or moisturized, sanitized, is going to affect the quality of the print. All right, so you're going to have a board here, and what you really want to do is to create uh, roll this in like that. Okay. I feel like I'm on Blue Peter, but and what you really, you're not really looking about here, you're looking to get a nice even amount of ink on here. Okay, so I want to make sure that I've got enough ink on there we go on all aspects of that. Okay, and then we're going to take the hand. I'm just going to move that over there. We we'll take the we we'll take the left hand first. To get the person to relax the hand and. If I'm worried I've over inked, the first place I want to start is the fingers, because that will take the over ink. And we don't tend to read much in this area of the hand. We want the fingerprints to be OK. So if I've over inked, the first thing I want to do is to test it by placing it here. OK. All right. And that's a, OK, quite a bit of ink on there. And we're going to ask the person to open up their fingers so we can get inside round there and around the other side, all the way up there. So we get the whole fingerprint and the finger. There we go. And I want that bit there as well, the finger tip and that side. And then we want the little finger as much as we can. Okay, so let's just see. Um, oh, I'm, I'm doing this from one side. And I get a little bit more ink. Thank you. Okay, a bit more ink and now I can start to place it here, just get a bit more ink from there. And what we want to do is we want to get right to the wrist, round the palm here, 
get some of the bits that look a little bit white that we haven't quite managed. And again, the thumb, even though when we place the hand down, most thumbs won't show the print. We'll have to do a separate print on the side of the palm print for the thumb and maybe the fingers. So how's that looking? Okay, I'll use, okay. So I could do a little bit more down here. Maybe, we don't, again, we don't want to over ink, but I certainly want to get as much as I can. And then, yeah, as you can see, I'm missing a little bit. Not the most important thing, but all right. So then we want the person to sort of relax the hand a bit and then straighten it up. Okay? And then place the hand down. And again, we've got a bit of padding. We're going to straighten the fingers a bit and we're going to just place it down. And we want to place gently. I always ask permission. Um, so we don't break anybody's hand, but we just gently push down in the center, place the fingers down. And then we want to lower the wrist down. Some people hold it like this. They hold it up like that and we want to lower it down so we get the lower part of the print. Okay. All right. Then the most important thing, once we've done that, is to hold it here. I would do this and ask them to lift their palm slowly, just straight up. Okay. All right. Okay. That way, um, so can you see that? You probably can see that pretty well now. Great, pretty perfect. Thank you, Karen. Um, <laughs> um, we've missed a bit here, of course, but then that's the angle of the thumb. Sometimes it's not going to be pushed down. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, what was I saying? Um, we've managed to get the center, which is important. We can zoom in, we can use the, we can use this. Don't know if that will work. There we go. We can, <laughs> we can zoom in to all of that. Um, and some people and some palmists will always tell you, well, the hand is down to draw around the fingers. Now, I've never been a, very good at that. It's a bit ugly. It ends up looking really bad. So I just like to leave it as it is. But sometimes, of course, um, nails will get in the way. If you've, if you've got a, somebody with long nails, the whole shape of it will look a little bit weird or you'll end up sort of going around the corner. So that's the first one. Um, uh, yes. So what we're going to do, take a little bit more ink and we're just going to do the fingerprints again. There we go. This is where, there we are. And then we're going to ask him to just close the hand for a minute and place the thumb down. Yeah, this, this way you sort of have to do it on the edge of the table so it doesn't completely put ink everywhere. And we're going to place the thumb, we can place the thumb down here. There we go and lift up so we can start to see the thumbprint and then we want to do each of the fingers. So we'll, we'll do that. There we go. Doesn't matter how much you get as long as you can see the print. Thing is when somebody pulls up too quickly they can smudge or they pull up their palm and they end up smudging it and you end up with a smudged palm, smudged fingers, etc. So this is some of you will know about this from being in a police station of course. There we are. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're happy with that. 